Hi guys, it's Teresa. Welcome back to my channel. So in the last few days, I've seen so many people do videos on the books that they're planning on reading for the rest of the year and because I am currently in a bit of a difficult situation when it comes to reading, I thought I'd do the same thing and also share my current reads because guys, there are a lot. I've gotten into the very unhealthy habit of um, just starting books left and right and not finishing anything and I'm really dissatisfied in my reading right now which is it's kind of disappointing and really really frustrating because I have so many books that I really want to read but whenever I start one I never really fully get into it and then I'm like well I don't want to continue and like la di da it's just really difficult i guess for me right now to like get back into the flow or like find the flow of reading so today i'm going to talk about the books i'm currently reading and that also kind of doubles as the books that i want to read before the end of the year because i don't know why but it makes me feel like uncomfortable <laughs> in a weird way to start a book in 2018 and then possibly finish it in 2019 because i feel like it's a 2018 read but like because I read half of it already in 2018 but then I'd read the second half in 2019 I don't know it doesn't make sense but it does kind of bother me so I would really love if I could finish off all of my current reads and if you look at my currently reading shelf on Goodreads it is actually atrocious and a tragedy and like I guess the the graveyard <laughs> of books I'm planning on reading because some of them have been on that list for and a tremendously long amount of time and it's not even funny anymore. Anyway, I've been rambling already. Without further ado, here are the books that I'm planning on reading for the rest of the year. The verse is actually one of my Project TBR books for the year and I literally just had to dust it off because it's just been lying around for so long. This is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Guys, <laughs> I started this book the first time, I think several years ago, and I got like 100 pages or 180 pages into it. This time around, I started over and I got 140 pages into it, but I still have not continued it and it's absolutely atrocious. The reason why is because I feel it going really slowly, so I always felt like I, I would just like put it down and like read something else so that I'd read a bit quicker and hopefully, you know, feel that accomplishment and then translate that back and use it to read this one. But that second part never happened, so I really need to finish it. I don't know if I will, I honestly highly doubt it, but I will put it in this video nonetheless to hopefully, you know, will it into existence. <laughs> the next book I'm currently reading is also from that challenge and it is this new Penguin parallel text, uh, short stories in Japanese by, or edited by Michael Emmerich. I don't think I continued since I, you know, showed this book at the beginning of the year. I think it's a good concept because basically you have like a page of the original story in Japanese and then like the translated version in English so you can go back and forth. But I think my real problem is that I'm just not a short story reader and this just feels like a chore to me. There's no enjoyment really except for like maybe learning Japanese, which is enjoyable to me, but it's still work and it's still sort of difficult to do at times. I don't know why it hasn't happened yet. It really it really should because I, I need to read more Japanese anyway. Another Japanese book I'm currently reading is, uh, this one is called That's Bad by Yuko Tawada. It's actually a funny book because it's also called uh, Urokomochi. It's written by a Japanese author, but she also speaks fluent German and she has written this book in both Japanese and German and depending on which side you start from, you can read it in that particular language. So I have obviously started at the Japanese side and I am like, it's hard to say because the, the pages are obviously numbered like you would expect, so I don't know what page I'm at. But it's very difficult. It's written very, like, extremely complex and like with there's so many kanji that like you never use and I showed this to a Japanese friend and she was like she doesn't know all these either so that's great <laughs> very motivating and then there's lots of words and synonyms more specifically that she keeps using where it's like oh this is the same word that the word she used in the page before but it's a, like the meaning is the same but it's a different word and it's kind of frustrating but I am enjoying it even though it's a bit weird it's written in almost like a flowery style <laughs> And uh, when I like peeked at the German version, I already also noticed that, that it's kind of like, well, 
not the easiest book, but of course I never pick easy things, so. The next book I'm currently reading is The Lost City of Zed by David Graham. This was on my non-fiction November TBR, and I don't even think how much. I got 18 pages into it. It's not not interesting, and I mean, even if it were, I couldn't properly judge that anyway after just 18 pages. So I don't know what it is, I just don't really feel like reading non-fiction right now, which is bad timing because it's obviously non-fiction November. I just don't know. I am excited to read it eventually, but I don't think it's gonna happen uh, this month. And I know this is a video of me saying I'm gonna read these books soon, but I don't know if I will read this one because I just am not feeling it. And I think particularly with nonfiction, it's really difficult if you're trying to force yourself. So we shall see. The next book is actually a reread, and I just picked this up a few days ago because. I wanted something that I knew I was going to like, but that also has its own pitfalls if you think about it, because while I typically don't remember a lot of what I read in books, uh, unfortunately, I like forget things pretty quickly, I in this case do still remember a little too much, and so it dragged a little going into it as well. <laughs> this is The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. The third and final book in this trilogy is coming out this week, and or it already came out, actually I'm not sure, but I was so ex I'm was so excited for the third book, but I really want to reread the first two because I want to kind of have it m fresher in my mind and like track the progress of the characters and everything like that more like better, <laughs> more better, wow. And that's why I really wanted to read it, but it took me like, I don't even know, the first few pages I was like, uh, this was a five star book for me and I was still, I couldn't get into it and I, I read a little bit more today and I'm now on page 70 and I'm more excited about it I think, but still I remember so much <laughs> and it makes it a little bit difficult because I know like the parts that I particularly enjoyed and I know about where they're coming, but this is like a 500 page book and it's a it's a lot so I really want to read it I'm saying this I for real like this one I really really want to read and I'm gonna do it but it's not easy because like for me reading right now is generally not easy like overall I guess you could say I'm also in the middle of the Queen of the Teeling by Erica Johansson I'm about 116 pages into this one there's a theme here, guys. <laughs> I started this towards the end of October because I was in a really big YA fantasy craze. And I know I just did a video where I talked about not liking it when YA books are a little bit too fast-paced, but this one is so slow. <laughs> I'm a hundred something pages into it and literally not much has happened. This girl has just been transported from one place to another. Like that's all that happened so far. And it is a drag. And I put it down for what I thought was going to be temporarily, but it still hasn't happened yet. And I don't know what's going to make me reach for this anytime soon, but we'll see if it happens. I don't want to be an effort, like officially, this is another thing. Like, I recently, since I've been like DNFing, quote unquote, so many books, but most of them I actually want to finish it eventually, so it's been really hard for me to be like, well, I'm gonna finish this or I'm not gonna finish this, so I don't really know what to do with these, so they're just like lying on a pile, staring at me accusingly that I haven't read them yet, and it's not fun. <laughs> I also am still listening to Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari, I'm not sure that's his actual name, I'm sorry, wait, let me check. Wow, I actually got it right, go me. I'm listening to this on audiobook, I am uh, eight and a half hours into a 15 hour uh, audiobook, so I think I'm gonna be able to finish it before November, the end of November. Um, I just listen to this whenever I go places. I think it's really interesting, but I definitely enjoyed the first section more because it was more set in like the far, far past. And now we're going to, we're going, getting more into like, I guess, times that I already know kind of a lot about and like concepts of humanity that I think are very self-explanatory at times, so I tend to like drift off a little bit. And I did change the speed to like 1.25 I think, no 1.2, that's like my limit. After that I do not 
follow anything. And I find it so funny when some booktubers sometimes say like, oh, I'm listening to this in like double speed or like 1.75 and I'm like, what? <laughs> How are you paying any attention to any of this? Like, I don't even know. Like, I just need things to like settle before the next thing comes. So it's just me, maybe. I don't know. According to my Goodreads, I'm also currently still reading Detective Conan 89. Oh, it's in the other room. I should have thought of that. But I did start this book. It's a manga, obviously. I started this like two months ago or a month ago, but I haven't continued. Again, it's also in Japanese. And I can't read multiple books in Japanese at the same time. I can't read multiple books at the same time in general, but you know. This is proof. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere with any of these. I'm also reading an arc that I got from that galley called The Orchid Girls by Leslie Sanderson, but uh, it's a thriller, I think, and I'm... I tried reading it, I have it as an ebook on my phone, so like as an alternative to the audiobook when I'm going somewhere, but honestly, my travel times are not that long and I never really feel like picking up this one, so I think I might DNF it because it's kind of dumb. Um, also, technically, I'm in the middle of Jaina Proudmore Tides of War by Christy Golden. I haven't looked at this book in months, I don't know. This is crazy. Also, <laughs> I still have Fire From Heaven by Mary Reynolds listed is currently reading, which is another book but that I stopped in the middle of like four months ago and have not continued because I'm a piece of shit. Also The Red Knight by Miss Cameron. Guys, I hated this book with a burning passion but so many people said it gets better towards the end. Don't DNF it. And I DNF'd it. I think I might officially call it on that one, like call it time of death because I do not ever feel like I want to read this book again. Like it was so terrible and so boring. And then lastly, this has been listed as currently reading on the 3rd of January 2018. Now this is tragic. This is what I call tragic. The Subtle Life by Philip Pullman. I am such a bad person, well not a bad person, I'm a bad reader because I do this all the time. <sighs> Why did I start the book when I didn't want to finish it? Like that's the thing, I'm enjoying it, I was enjoying it, I got halfway through and then I just didn't continue. I could honestly punch myself for that because it's so dumb and I feel like leaving books as currently reading on your shelves for so long is just literal baggage. I feel the pressure of that. I feel very much like I should be reading these books and I should hurry because the longer I wait, the more I forget and the less likely I'm actually going to read them. So, now that you've listened to me rant about being a piece of shit for long enough, I think it's time to end this video. But all of these books I technically want to read before the end of the year, but we all know that's not going to happen. So, send your prayers <laughs> that I at least get through some of these and that I can start into 2019 with, on a, with a clear slate. I think... The books I don't finish before then, I might DNF, like, officially, we shall see, I don't know yet. Let me know what you think I should make a priority. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna DNF The Subtle Knife. I will read that at some point, but, um, reread, actually. <laughs> it's a reread. I'm sorry, this video was so all over the place. I clearly needed to vent, and I think I did, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're planning to read for the end of the year, like towards the end of the year. Um, if you're like me and you have accumulated so much baggage throughout the year that you don't see your way out of it anymore, <laughs> definitely share so we can commiserate. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I need something good to happen today. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being overdramatic, I know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you very soon with another one. Until then, have a lovely week. Bye.